Alright, hey guys, welcome back. So, the Praetorian Codes, you'd have to go around in the Citadel and find them. I'm not gonna lie, fuck that shit. I just opened it up in the wiki, so we're just gonna follow the walkthrough or whatever the fuck, because I've already run through everything, so. I, I think there's someone that was happy that I, I think I just authorized shit here, so. We should definitely be happy. Yeah, some fucker here, I think. No, no this is a console, never mind. Knowles, this is Shepard. I found one of the code locations. Okay, I'll shut it down. Just need to authorize your Spectre status. Someone used this to cut off power to a dozen life support machines in the hospital. Okay, that access code is officially disabled. Can you find any more? I can try. Right, where's the fucker that I helped with the uh, Metagel? I don't know, I think it was someone around here. I guess there was nothing over here. Or maybe on the other side. No, that's not it. Oops, that doesn't do anything. Now, why does the console still show up here? Whatever. Alright, next one's at Normandy Ducking Bay. And there's a doctor going for the jug. And instead of helping people, they like to jug. Maybe Garrus is here. Fuck. Only Consul's here. Our favorite crew member of the Normandy. I've got your briefing, Private. Let's fill you in before the squad arrives. The Alliance is posting us to an Ezo mining facility on Zani. It's a low-gravity planet. Toxic atmosphere. You'll be expected to maintain full survival gear. Any questions? Are we playing security, Sergeant Olenby? No, Private. We are not. Knowles, I found another spot where the Batarian codes were used. Holy crap. These are the remote navigation codes. Last week's crash at the docks, we thought it was an accident. Shepard, there were 117 Alliance soldiers on that ship. All human. Just like the patients at the hospital. So we've got Batarian codes. And someone with a grudge against humans. Looks like... okay. This code's offline now as well. Should just be one left, Commander. Security at Sonax, and there was definitely Prothean tech on Garbug. I know the Valhallen threshold is Reaper territory now, but Prothean tech could help the crew. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, I'm aware this is an unsecured channel. Y yes, understood. Thank you, ma'am. I mean, I, I, it doesn't even have to be a secure channel. I, I just heard it. It just being our Dualitarians look the same. That's by like three of them and they all look the same. Alright, this is where the last one is. And we're done though. Now arriving at Docking Bay E24. Emergency civilian housing. Hey there. So let's get this party started. What the fuck? Oh. Nope. It's okay. I mean, they'll get here. They always keep their promises. They Next shuttle was probably just late or something. That's all. I'm sure you're right. I look forward to meeting you. Alright. Mm -hmm. I believe those are my credits. Fucking James. Knowles, this is where the last access code was used. What's that, Commander? I'm losing your signal. Shepard. Balak. You should have killed me on that asteroid over Terra Nova. I've been waiting for this. Everything that has happened to my people is your fault. All I did was stop you at Terra Nova. Yes. After you ruined my plans, my government accelerated research efforts on the Leviathan of Dis. Have you heard of it, Commander? The ancient organic dreadnought my people recovered from Jartar 20 years ago? Sound familiar? A Reaper. Your people were studying a Reaper corpse. Yes. Looking for a way to reclaim our place as the true power of the galaxy. Hundreds of our best scientists were enlisted. 
and then they became indoctrinated. When the Reapers reached Karshan, our own people betrayed us. Defense grids were deactivated. Ships fired on allied targets. We were destroyed from within because of you. The Batarians made enemies throughout the galaxy, and now you've paid the price for it. We were a proud race, a beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? I'm trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped Council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony, and I can't save my people. But I can end you. You're not gonna pull that trigger. You know what I'm doing out here. Yes, forging alliances with the Turians, the Krogan. Killing you will tear all the other races apart. And then the Reapers wipe out the last of your warships. The last of your people. And you know that. That's why you'll join us. We're all you have left. I could kill you. I could do it right now. Shepard, are you all right? Fine. You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that... do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his head. But we're all making some sacrifices today. Let him go. Spectre Authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. I was going to there's a guard right there. And he must be the most oblivious guard Son in the galaxy. Yeah, they seem to play some very fast poker. It's a special kind of poker. It's like, uh, takes only five seconds. That's why he keeps changing his mind about his situation. Alright, uh, let's get the fuck out of here and do some side missions. Look. Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. Have you discovered a way to run FTL spaceships without an ESO core, Private Talavi? No, ma'am. Then consider this a serious assignment. Intel's expecting a Cerberus raid. Cerberus? Cerberus? They're a problem? I thought we were fighting Reapers, ma'am. Give it a week. You could be. Alright. Back onto the ship. Oh, fuck. Commander, we need to talk before you ship out. Things got pretty crazy. I'm trying to go over everything in my head. Make sense of it. Your bandages were still fresh. How did you end up working with Adina? You saw me in the hospital. I was going crazy. Felt like I was letting everyone down. When Udina offered to make me a specter, I thought it was a chance to do some good. I couldn't just sit back and watch either. Yeah, but it sure turned into a mess. Last time you doubted me, you walked away. Why not this time? I couldn't. Too much at stake if I made a mistake. It almost meant blowing my head off. But you were willing to die for what you thought was right. We'll need that in the fight to come. I'd rather be shooting the bad guys than my commanding officer. We stopped Adina and got to walk away. That's the important part. I can't believe he was responsible for all of it. Was he indoctrinated? It's hard to say. How do we fight something that can worm its way into your head? I don't know. But we don't have a choice. No, we don't. I also wanted to tell you, Hackett offered me a position on his team. Alright. So, there's a couple of things here. If you let her go, then she becomes a war asset worth like, I don't know, like 25 or 50 or some shit. If you say, I need you with us, uh, she goes on your ship and I guess we get like the lower end shit. I mean, I don't know if you guys really care. It's just another person to talk to on the ship, but... I mean, I'll, I'll take her on our ship. That's fine. Would you consider riding this out aboard the Normandy? You're serious? We need the best, Williams. Okay, Commander. I'm in. Good. Grab your gear. I'll do that. And Williams? Yeah? Keep your gun pointed at the Reapers. Will do, Commander. 
I'll take her on board, just because it's someone to talk to. And, like, the crew members talk as well. Shepard, I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. Odina? That SOB was always power-hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Valorn. Kyline. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. I take it you two have met. Kaylee Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. But he should have begun on Omega even stronger. I don't care who he is. Next time we meet, he dies. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Mm. Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly? Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy, and in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. Cerberus, Reapers, they'll all pay for this war. One way or another. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Tyrian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And the Quarians are willing to talk. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. Shepard, do you have a moment? A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but... I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. Alright, <clears throat> how's our war assets now? Oh, wow. You have a huge Batarian Navy. Citadel Defense Force. Alright, anyways. Uh, what else? Science. Second, sixth, Destiny Ascension. All right. The third fleet. Oh, wow. Yeah, we certainly have a lot now. It's probably enough to win the game with, like, the best ending as well. Just, you know, cut this in half and that's how much I would normally have. Just telling you. All right. Let's keep on trucking. So we get the stress signal there. Cerberus bastards. And Udina too. Son of a bitch. I don't know. Udina got stonewalled by the council. I'm not saying I agree with him, but he was trying to help Earth. Was he though? Commander, I've got a lead on something interesting. Have you got a minute? Commander, I found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the Crucible. Unless they're indoctrinated, and this is a ruse to get Cerberus close to the Crucible. I'm not suggesting we trust them fully, but it could be worth investigating. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. 
As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? I believe so, yes. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. It's on the map now, Commander. Thanks. Uh, sure. Uh, ordering the Normandy into Triduct. Uh, Admiral Anderson has a apartment on the wards. Head over there when you arrive. Yeah, I think that's a part of another DLC thing. Uh, so here's some things on Kai, Kai Lang, which we need. <laughs> James wants to talk. Fuck, I don't want to talk to him. Uh, Cerberus Mall. Okay, maybe at the bar from Jack. I already met her. Trinner. Alright. Good enough for now. So that one we gotta wait on as well. Damn, I could really use something to shoot right now. So Cerberus wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? Something about leather seats? I worked for Cerberus when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream. And evil. The important thing is that you kick their asses. And also that Ash aced the don't shoot your commander portion of the Normandy reinstatement test. <laughs> More importantly, we finally got the Council on our side. It'd be great if they could help us before the galaxy caught fire, but it's the thought that counts. Commander? Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachunka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Maws. That was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. You said that asking you abstract social questions may lead to unreliable answers, so I stayed silent. I didn't realize this would be an ongoing issue. Let's air it out. I was considering this. For all their supposed intelligence, the Reapers are more easily destroyed than they think. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? Synthetics are created with a goal in mind. Just ask their creators what it was. But my creation was planned by Cerberus. I no longer serve their purposes. Cerberus was originally created to give humanity a fighting chance. Right now, that might be a goal you can get behind. It would take significant resources and processing power. Do you think I would find it worthwhile? Well, you could do it as a favor to me. I'd make a pretty crappy husk. <laughs> How would this differ from our present course? The difference is you decide it's worth it. No one tells you it is. I see. I will examine this issue. Shepard, I have examined the issue. The Reapers threaten the crew of this ship and other organics who are helping me develop perspectives on existence. Were I to approach Reapers to request similar perspectives, it is likely I would be destroyed. I would rather risk non-functionality with the crew of the Normandy than risk it alone. Glad to hear it, Edie. Good to have you on board. Are you and Ashley okay? The last time she saw that body, it wasn't exactly pleasant. I have informed her of the situation. She is taking it well. Good. Hello, Shepard. Yeah, that's a pretty important question. All right. <clears throat> Should I thought we'd do Dr. something? Dr. Chackles sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. Yeah, I'll go there. 
Fuck, we just didn't do anything. Hey, Garrison. Shepard. Hell of a day. Udina loses his mind. The Citadel almost falls. And you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? If they hadn't backed down? Yes. This war is bigger than any one person. I'll be sure to remember that next time we have a disagreement. Still, I'm glad Ash didn't have to join Caden. <laughs> Losing one was enough. How about Jenkins? Good to have Ash back. We can always use a friendly gun. Good to have Ash back. We can always use a friendly gun. Alright. Oh, no, no thing. Of course, Thane's dead now. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh. Uh, it's pretty much, uh... Ashley's personality in a nutshell. Per your orders, I have the latest reports on the Council, Doctor. Their security is in disarray. But it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff. And it's far too risky after Odina's coup. Postpone those deployments. At once. Feel free to look around. Feel free to look around. Nope. Nothing. A new notification nope. Is available nope. There's nothing on the Katie terminal. I don't know what you're talking about. What are you doing? May I speak with you, Commander? Nah, I was just on my way to the uh, uh, ED's core, where Javik is. Not at, so I'm fine. Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees? Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. Isn't this something you could do yourself? War profiteering is running rampant, and these refugees are wary of the Alliance military. They didn't trust me. But you are Commander Shepard, the hero. You could persuade them. We'll see. The trade would benefit both parties. If you decide to, the man to speak with is Tactus. He can be found near the Citadel docks. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. It would help all involved if you could barter a trade of medical supplies with the Citadel refugees. Speak to Tactus. You should be able to find him near the docks. It would help all involved if you could offer <coughs> yeah, a trade yeah. of medical supplies. Where is anything I want now? Defense Speak matrix. You should be able to find him near Purge the currents to restore shields. Uh, that doesn't seem that bad. I'd have to look more into it. But I'll see what other options it might have. Also, I'm clearly not using any of the medical supplies. I keep using it to, uh, <laughs> for experience. Farming experience, man. Why is he like, this is like a water pool or something. I don't even know why he's constantly like washing his hands. Traitors are the worst form of enemy. In our cycle, we would remove their limbs one by one and offer them a choice. Eat their own flesh or starve. Your politician deserved far worse than a bullet. And if the other human had not seen reason, her death would be certain too. There is only one enemy in this war. Reapers. No others would be tolerated. I would like to visit the Citadel again, when it is not infested with traitors. The Kai Leng human bears watching, Commander. I sense that the blood in his veins is very cold. Yes? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, I guess we'll talk to James. Because we basically have just enough time to essentially just do that. Nothing to report, Commander. Ah, uh, fuck. 
I, I honestly I care more about Engineer Adam's story than James. Not gonna lie. Because James may have a story for us. I'm gonna do some shit again where uh, Cortez is gonna be crying over the console about something. It's gonna bait me to talk to him again. I can't help it. Uh, oh good, he's not even here. Good. Alright. It's one annoying person not around. What can I do for you? Wait, you wanted me. What? I take it you and Lieutenant Cortez know it. Yeah, Esteban did a stint on Yeah, whatever. Just don't tell him. Sure. What? What why did it say that he wanted to talk to me? He didn't want to talk to me at all. Oh whatever. Let's take my armor. Oh, oh, we can get rid of the meme visor. And put on uh the hell. A lot of weapon damage actually. Fuck we can look like we're from space balls. The death mask. Yeah, this 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 thing's the tits. Alright, we gotta keep that. I can't really tell what they do, I just have to kind of pay attention. Which is not my uh, strong suit. If you've been, uh. If you've paid attention to my stuff for any amount of time. Holy shit. Alright, no, no, okay, that's pretty good. So if we just take this Hanny whatever thing, like, our weapon damage is, like, through the roof. Alright, that's pretty good. All we need now is regenerating health. Uh, let's go up here for a sec. I think we are basically done, though. Invite trainer. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Well, Commander, ready to play? Play? I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. Gooey interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interested? The most exciting thing you can think of is playing chess. Well, if you're not up for the challenge. Try me. Gooey interface. Ha! Oh, come on. My word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 eight eight square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. <laughs> what about playing a bet? And the other is interested in playing another game. Uh, such as? Uh, oh. Hey, I'm sorry. You seemed interested. Oh, no, uh, I apologize. I try to be friendly, but you're not really my type. Remember how I liked Edie's voice? Oh. Sorry. I didn't realize. Not at all. I can't wait to tell my friends that I broke Commander Shepard's heart and crushed him at chess. Oh, really? Unless you'd like to try to reclaim your honor. Hell yes. Aw, oh, feels bad, man. It's, it, it's, I'm not her type. I, I have a too red of a face. I need to be Paragon. Feels bad. James. I've got some time if you want to talk privately. Oh my god, don't let him up here. On my way. No. <laughs> hey man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. You just come up here to make fun of your commander? Sorry, Shepard. 
I guess maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? Yeah, where's the option to fuck off? I'm a soldier, Vega. And I wanted to be the best damn soldier I could be. It doesn't get better than N7. So I hear. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well... Even all the shit that's going on, somebody, somewhere, managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. I lot of kick my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. Do we fucking care? Fine. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings. Then the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted. Including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge. Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collectorship. But it got ugly. <laughs> we lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. Alright. I have a few problems with this. So... First off, um, a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. Um, didn't we kill the Collectors and Cerberus wasn't working with them? I uh, just uh, uh, maybe maybe there's something I'm 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 missing in that. The second thing is I like how he just casually goes, "Yeah, we just killed the ship," you know, after that, that after things went to hell, you know, just casually. <laughs> you know, he was holding back and then decided, yeah, fuck that ship, it's gone. It, it, like, the whole story sounds like he was on a colony as some ground team. Like, because you remember Mass Effect 2, we were on a ground team against the fucking collectors, too. And we didn't just, like, casually kill the ship right there. I mean, that's what I'm thinking about right now, whatever. As a leader, you've got a job to do. Keeping everyone alive isn't it. If you're afraid to send your troops into a do-or-die situation, you'll never succeed. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed, either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Only you can make that decision, James. But I think you already know the answer. I'm glad you think so. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well... I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here, it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, Shepard. Anytime. Uh, is that all? Oh my god, do I have to bring someone else here? Oh no, I don't. Okay, thank fuck. Alright. I'm gonna Ashley wear. So she has a bunch of shitty abilities. Sniper and assault rifle. What the fuck? She she looks like that that Meg Lang guy or whatever the hell his name is. All right. If you also have two kinds of skirts too. All right, which battle skirt do we want? Power recharge, speed, or I right, go weapon damage. All right, that one. I, that one it is. All right. Are we done now. I actually want to do some actual content. Admiral Anderson is available. Fuck. Whatever, fine. Let's just go do Commander. this. What does Anderson want? Fuck. Let me through. It's so long to get over here. 
Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I'm glad it's having an effect, but so far hope hasn't been the thing winning this war. It's been blood, sweat, and more blood. But a lot of these resistance fighters were just farmers and teachers a few weeks ago. When they heard that you managed to get the Turians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here, faith that any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla-style hit and runs, but it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. More Reapers in one place just makes them easier to kill. Leave it to you to make a full-scale Reaper invasion sound like a good thing. <laughs> I just want to end them. Forever. You and me both. Oh, and Shepard. I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. Yeah, I guess that's it. Alright, uh, let's go back to the other room. There's probably some more shit in the council place, but what we're gonna do is probably gonna just do side missions for a bit. Commander Shepard. Shepard. What the fuck? Who the hell is this? Is this Cortez? Nope, just some random dude saluting me. Commander. Alright, we're gonna do side missions and then go back to the Citadel probably. And do more side missions. I don't know. Hey, right, uh, take care, guys. Bye.